Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another pen accessory review and this is a pen case. Uh, it's the Koozie case by Rickshaw Bags here that you will see. And this uh, design uh, is from Tom Odo from Ink Journal. And uh, this is uh, typically, it's an octopus, but it's called an inktopus. So you do have fountain pen nibs here. And octopuses do have like a die or an ink uh, inside them. So, so I think this is aptly named. Now, I do like this case a lot. It's a case that I carry around with me a lot. Uh, and, and I do like it. Um, there's several variations. You can get one with a pocket on as well in the front. So you could stick maybe an A6 notebook in. Um, you can on some of the rickshaw bags actually do a customization where you can actually have um, loops here, like carabiner loops. So you could put a strap on here. And, and this is probably the only downside that I would say about this case is that it doesn't give me that option. Uh, and there's no way of actually customizing this version of the Inktopus, unfortunately. I, I hope Rickshaw will come out with that option at some point soon. Because uh, I, I would prefer carabiners, even if you actually unclipped the carabiner here. And the reason why I, I'm going to show you is that if you zip this up, right, you effectively, you could either go one side or you could go the other side or you could go to the top. But you can't easily put a strap on here. Um, so if you had the carabiners on the side here, you could clip a strap on and you could then wear it over your shoulder. And for me, walking to a meeting room would actually make this a little bit more usable because typically when I'm walking to a meeting room, I, I will have normally a pen case full of pens. I will have probably an A5 notebook and I will probably have a laptop with me. Uh, may or may not have a laptop depending on what the meeting is. And then also I will probably have a drinks cup or either with a hot beverage like a tea or a coffee, or I'll have a cold one. So for me, like having a strap on here would mean that I could just put this on my shoulder and then just hold the laptop and a notebook in a single hand and then the drinks cup in the other. So it would just allow me to not then have to worry about dropping something. Uh, you could still attach uh, a carabiner to here and a strap. Uh, it's just, it's, it's not going to be as versatile. What I have done though is I will typically just leave this open like so, because it's going to be over my shoulder, and then attach a carabiner strap to the ends here. And that actually does work. But it does mean if you were to say fall over, your pens could slide out uh, of this case. But the chances of you doing that is probably pretty remote. So the reason why I like this case is that you can store a lot of pens inside. And you can see here, made in USA. It's got this ballistic style nylon, uh, which is very, very nice. Very durable. Uh, if you spill anything, if, if you've got ink on it, it would wipe off uh, pretty well. And then you've got these koozie cases. And this is uh, very similar to the uh, Ritual Bags koozie pen wrap or pen roll is uh, if you look at this you get this lovely what they call a plush material beautiful material so typically i will store a lot of my grail pens in here so i'm going to put three visconti homo sapiens in here okay so we've got three in that one uh, we've got another three i'm going to put in here as well so that is going to give us six pens Okay, push those down. So that's six pens. And then I'm going to maybe rock with a couple of uh, Twisby Vac 700R irises. And you'll see there that this actually works quite well. So for me, this is a, a really, really nice case. And then I'm going to also rock with 
a couple of Twisby Vac 700R irises. So these koozie cases are really quite good. Uh, I do like these a lot. Now you might ask, why have I got a three, a three, and a two? Now there is some method in my madness, or madness in my method. So you could stack three on top of each other, and it probably would fit inside this case, but it might be a little bit tight. So what I've done is I've I've bought three, three, and a two because the two will sit quite nicely in this groove here. So I've got a three, a two, and a three, and that just allows it to be a little bit more compact. And then I can put it in this case, and there is still room. I probably could get another two, uh, maybe even two two pen uh, koozie sleeves in here, or I could put an A6 notebook inside here as well. So for me, now that does look a little bit bulky, I have to say, but once you do the zip up, it looks perfectly fine. So for me, these are really, really nice cases. I do typically like a handle on the back. Now that would distract from this beautiful design, although you've got it on the front and on the rear. But I do like a strap uh, that I could put on here that I could just put my fingers in and carry it that way. Uh, although, to be honest, I, I can do that here. If I just position the zips, uh, I can even just stick my finger through here and just carry it like so. So there is that opportunity. Or, like I said, I could, if I wanted to, have the zips open here, put the case up, and then you attach carabiners uh, straps to each side of this and do it that way. So for me, this is a, a really nice way of protecting my pens, my investment, and actually making sure that I am really carrying around the pens and they're not going to get damaged. Like if, if I was, let's say, to trip over or fall, um, this if it was zipped up, none of your pens are going to fall out. It's going to be pretty protected. You've got that plush interior in each of those sleeves. The only thing you might have to worry about is that I do find sometimes I will take a three or a two out and then I put it on my desk or I put it on another desk and then I go to put them back in the case and I've only got two of them. And I'm like, where did that other sleeve go? What did I do with that other sleeve? So you may have to like sort of think about that one. Uh, you can't get these in a four pen configuration. You can get them in a like a seven pen wrap. So, or sorry, an eight pen wrap. So what I'd like to show you here is this is the octopus or inktopus, same design. But let me show you this. You could go and take this with you. If I put all of these pens in here, I'm just going to have to bear with me whilst I take these out and put them into the pen wrap. But I will show you what you could do here that could be useful that I also do a lot of. So let's say you've got this full now. So what you can do is if you roll it into a third like so, uh, you can still, if you wanted to, put this around and tie it up. But you could then stick that in there and then you could also add a few more pens as well so you could add a pen down here if you wanted to and uh, another pen here so you you could add easily some more pens or you possibly let me see let's try this if we could do a ten a two pen sleeve could you get another one in there yes you could nice and easily so now i've got 10 pens in this case it is a little bit more bulky though, um, so you do have to bear that in mind. But if you wanted 10 pens in there, you could get 10 pens. Now, this koozie case does come separately to these uh, koozie sleeves. So if you're going to buy this, you need to buy the koozie case, and then you need to buy how many sleeves that you want. So I bought two threes and a two as well, because uh, I thought that configuration would go nice in this case. And then likewise, I've also got that pen wrap as well that I can use. So 
I, I could easily uh, put, what, eight pens in here. Have another eight pens in, in this uh, wrap or pen roll as well. So there you have it. That's my uh, Ritual Bags koozie case review with the koozie sleeves in the Inktopus design uh, from Tomado at Ink Journal. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.